Aloha everybody, it's me Doc here and today I'm going to give you a quick Mac spring cleaning tip how to get rid of those pesky duplicate open with entries whenever you want to open an app. Now this came up in the back channels at TUAW, one of our writers asked the question and it's something that I've been doing for a while but I thought hey you know maybe a lot of people don't know how to do this. Now traditionally um, you go to an application and you right click or control click if you don't have your mouse and you get down to open with and you'll see a bunch of different selections that I can use to open this particular PDF document. Uh, here's one for like the zip files. You'll see again I have a bunch of duplicates there and then even on something as simple as a JPEG you can get crazy amount of duplicates like illustrators in there twice, uh, codas in there twice, you know, anyway that gets really messy and it makes the list a little bit long. So let me tell you how we normally get rid of this. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is there's a cool terminal command that you can run that takes care of this. So let me go ahead and open up uh, Sublime Text real quick. And I've already taken the liberty to paste this in because it's kind of long. And here's your command system library frameworks core services dot framework slash version slash a frameworks launch services frameworks version a support l register that's what we're looking for ls register and then this basically kills it and starts uh, a new terminal command that will go in and grab all of this information and flush it out well you don't want to have to do that every time although this works so i'm going to show you a couple different ways you can automate this task um, if you don't find yourself doing this very often here's a super simple way to fix it okay now uh, basically how this works is we're going to go ahead and open up terminal and you literally would copy this command which I will have in the notes and you would paste it in over here and just press enter it's going to take a second to think about it and once it says once it's done you'll get this echo back that says open with has been rebuilt and the finder will relaunch so in theory if I come over here and click on open with you'll see all of those things are gone now you could do something like copy this into Evernote and save it bring it back later but I'm gonna show you how to fix it even cooler so here's the same command with an alias built in okay so we're gonna do a little trick here let's come back over to let me shrink this a little bit let's come back over to terminal and I'm going to show you a couple of met commands you can do in order to set this up right. First, in terminal, let's do TOU touch. And I'm going to go dot bash underscore profile. Make sure you spell it right because uh, otherwise you won't get the same results. And then we're going to open this up with text edit. And you just basically type text edit. It's hard to do this <laughs> and then speak at the same time. Text edit dot app. And I'm going to say open up the same file I just created. Bash dot. I mean, sorry, bash underscore profile. Now, don't be afraid. If you mess this up, you're not really going to hurt anything. You could always delete it. Anyway, so what this should do is open up text edit so you can get a blank document, which now you can fill in. Okay. That's really cool and all. I don't really like text edit for my uses so I'm gonna get rid of this for a second or actually see if I can drag this down to sublime text and there we go I open this I like sublime text because for this particular demonstration I can make it bigger and you can see what I'm doing and nice black contrast anyway you can do it with text edit you can do it with um, what's the other word I was looking for or you can do it with your standard text edit issue anyway so all we're gonna need to do is add this command to our bash profile so what I want to do is make sure I have my command copied over here and I already have it in my clipboard so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that there um, let's go to view and see if I can soft wrap this text so you can see what's going on so basically what this will do is take this same command that's here but I'm creating an alias for it so that when I'm in terminal if I ran the command fix now it would 
run that lengthy command without having to copy and paste it every time. So you don't have to go look over the notes or look in your internet, try to find out where you got the command from and remember this. So once I create that in bash profile and I save it, you're going to need to come back over to terminal and quit and relaunch the terminal. And what that will do is it will now have a command. If I go fix OW, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it fix now and it will launch, it will rebuild the finder. It will, I mean, rebuild LS services, LS register, and we'll relaunch the finder. And you saw it blink for a second. And again, of course, I've already done this before. So my applications are fresh and clean and there's no big problem. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's say, like me, you may have noticed I use Alfred to run everything on my desktop. And Alfred with the power pack allows me to actually create a script to do the exact same thing. So if I were to open up Alfred window here and then press preferences, you'll see I have a fix OW bash script already set up. And all I need to do to run that is double tap Alfred, go fix OW, and it will do it run through the bash script and I'll get a notification up there that says open with is now spotless. Okay, let me show you how to create that. In Alfred preferences, now you're going to need the power pack, I believe, in order for this to go down, but you have to test that for yourself. Um, I'm going to say I want to do my input as a keyword and let's just say fix dupes for now so I don't erase the wrong one. You give it a title. And you can put whatever you want here in the text. Now, if you wanted to have an icon, you would drag an icon in. I just grabbed something off the desktop and press save. The next trick is I'm going to tell it that my action is to run a script. And in my run scripts command, what I'm going to do is grab this command, the one without the alias. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in here. Make sure you have everything as far as escaping turned on. And you want to save that. And the last thing I want to do is have the output post a notification and you can put in whenever you want there you go just press save to make it all connect all you're doing Alfred is draw lines you know like connecting the dots and this was literally do the exact same thing now what I'm gonna do is not do that and just delete this and that's how you would create it in in Alfred now this would also work in something like launch bar or you could go into Apple scripts and save it out as a script that you could just double click but to me one of the most useful ways to get rid of those super irritating duplicates in your <laughs> in your uh, computer it just gets a little crazy and it would drive you absolutely insane anyway I hope you've enjoyed this this has been Doc for the unofficial Apple weblog. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them in the section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the video so you can be sure to see more as I come up with crazy things. And if you'd like to send me something, you can send me a request, something you want to learn or something you would like me to cover. And you can send that to doc at tuaw.com. Once again, that's doc at tuaw.com. For the unofficial Apple weblog, this has been Doc, and I say to aloha.